Hey everybody, welcome to the SoCal Dram Tram. My name is Caesar, And I'm Matt. And today, uh, we got a special bottle for me today, you know. folks. Today is a special bottle. I know we say that almost every review, but this one is one that uh, is very near and dear to my heart for a couple different reasons. Uh, number one, um, this is the bottle that my wife and I, when we first rehearsed our wedding vows, uh, I drank. Um, and this was the first whiskey that she actually sampled with me uh, through this whiskey journey and she said it tasted like lighter fluid. <laughs> um, but it's not lighter fluid, folks. It's <laughs> anything but. Um, also, this is a it really special whiskey. your fluid. <laughs> Scene. <laughs> um, but yeah, Glendronic 18-year-old Allardyce. That's right, folks, an 18-year-old Scotch. That's not exactly an 18-year-old Scotch. That's right. Uh, so Glendronic, we've reviewed a Glendronic on this channel, Glendronic 12-year. Uh, fun story about Glendronic. Uh, this one, again, it's named the Allardyce after the distillery's founder, James Allardyce. Uh, founded the distillery, if I'm not mistaken, in 1826. Um, and this distillery actually was mothballed. Dun, 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 dun. What does that mean? Mothball means that the distillery was closed. That happens in distilleries into Scotland's all the time. Scotland's? Scotland <laughs> all the time. Um, and nothing really happened. Nothing really happened with the whiskey in the barrel. Um, and what that meant was all these casks were sitting there um, while Glendronic just went unoperated, essentially. Basically, they just kind of sat there uh, collecting dust, um, you know, not really doing much. And then, lo and behold, 2001 comes along. And uh, again, like I said, they were mothballed in 96, folks. 2001 comes along, buyer comes along and says, hey, I'm going to go ahead and buy your distillery. And they're like, all right, cool. Don't quote me on who bought it, because honestly, I don't remember. I want to say Brown Foreman, but I could be wrong. Uh, so basically, they sat down. They said, okay, what are we going to do? We're going to go ahead and plan out our 12 or 15 or 18 or 21s, whatever they're going to do. And uh, they're like, well, hey, we got all this old whiskey in the back. Let's just go ahead and use that. So all these casts were actually from 1996 and below. So if you do your math... This was bottled in 2019. You would think, okay, well, 2001, that's when this is distilled. No, folks, this is still using old stock. This is from 1996 or before. That means the whiskey in this bottle is at least 24 years old. Dang. Yeah, 24 years old, folks. Now, the, here's the cool part about this, is it's 24 years old, but it's sold under an 18-year label at an 18-year price point. This locally in Southern California goes for about 135 to about 150 bucks, unless you're a liquor store that knows what they're doing, in which case it goes for about $200 because they know it's not an 18 year old scotch in there. Um, this is my second bottle of this, I want to say, and let me tell you, it's delicious. It's presented at 46% ABV. And uh, again, this one is a sherried whiskey and it's aged exclusively in uh, the finest, quote unquote, finest Oloroso sherry cask from, uh, or yeah, Oloroso sherry cask from Spain. And uh, shout out to the Scotch for Dummies, whose coin I'm gonna be using today. This is their patron only coin. Uh, that's right, I'm a patron of theirs. If you uh, don't know what Patreon is, folks, I don't know how you exist in 2020 at this point, uh, but patron, Give them a shout out. They're really good. Um, Scotch for Dummies, the boys in Indiana. Go ahead and join their Patreon if you haven't done so already. You can go in as low as five bucks if I'm not mistaken and get a lot of good content, but also ultimately really good knowledge. And uh, the reason why I brought this up is because I would have never heard about this bottle if this weren't for the Scotch for Dummies. Uh, I was actually watching their live show the other night and mentioned that in the comments and even Drew was like, man, that's awesome, thank you. And uh, like I said, I would have never came across this bottling if it weren't for them. So be sure to check out your other whiskey tubers. Um, whose coins are you using today, Caesar? For my coaster coin, I'm using my scotch on the bayou. What up, Lee? And for my topper coin, I'm using a whiskey dick. So, have you put your nose in this yet? I have. So, I have shared this with Caesar before. Um, and <laughs> truth be told, we got a really special bottle in one day. And uh, we were drinking it, and we were just kind of mind blown by this bottle. I'm like, you know what I want? I want a little more sherry in my whiskey. So I grabbed a Glendronic 18, popped it open. We had some samples of it. We both loved it, or I loved it in particular. I woke up the next morning and went, 
Ooh, son of a... I opened that bottle? <laughs> um, I had this bottle stashed, folks. It was in the bar in the corner in the dark, so I wouldn't actually open it. And lo and behold, I was stupid and I opened it. But you know what? It made me realize something. It made me realize that whiskey is to be shared. It reminded me of Aquavite talking about whiskey and whiskey until it's shared. And it's meant to be enjoyed. It's not meant to be bottle chased. It's not meant to be hoarded or anything like that. I have this bottle. I should share it with everybody. I should uh, share this with people who's going to enjoy it. I don't want to share this with somebody who maybe is brand new to whiskey because it may turn them off. I don't know. But Nonetheless, if you get to that point, I'm going to pour you a glass because I want to make sure that you have a chance to sample something like this. Um, so, I mean, you've had it in terms of just a small pour and we were notably pretty drunk. <laughs> what are you getting off the nose on this so far? So, I actually like it. Uh, I think it's smooth. Like, I think it smells very mellow, like a nice relaxing. I think it smells and finishes actually pretty smooth too. Um, Right off the back, I really like the color. The color is really nice. But compared to that 12-year, I think this is a perfected form of the 12-year. This, right off the back, I don't know if it has to do with the poltergeist or altergeist, whatever this is called. But it's definitely... Allerdice, it's the name of the founder. It is. <laughs> well, it's scary good. So I'd call it a poltergeist for sure. I, th I think... It, it s smells smooth. It finishes smooth. You could probably wish this around in your mouth for a little bit and then swallow it down without having any burning sensation after it because it actually, it's pretty smooth. I you like know, it. If anybody from Glendronic is watching, now I just want the Glendronic 25-year Poltergeist edition. <laughs> um, copyright Caesar Max. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, I, I took a sip, and again, this is my second bottle of it. I, I know that I love this whiskey, but it always gives me something new. Um, always are going to get that vanilla, always going to get that sherry. Today, I'm getting a little bit of cigar sweetness. And what I mean by that is, like, when you take a, a nice cigar, and I don't know nothing about cigars, I just know that, hey, that one looks cool, and that's in my price range, let me get that one. Um, but when... <laughs> when <laughs> When you take Is a that cigar, chocolate? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's a boys. That's my brand. It's a boys. But when you take a cigar and you pop it in your whiskey and the butt of it that you're smoking, and you start to get that sweet tobaccoy taste, that's what I'm getting from this today. I mean, I'm getting the sherry, I'm getting the raisins. I know to expect that, but I usually don't get tobacco in this. And today I'm getting, and it's quite nice. It's not like a grain stone where it's just like. Bam, here I am and we're here to party. Where this is just like a subtle sweetness. Like I said, kind of like that cigar, you know, kind of like on a summer night when it's maybe starting to go into fall and it's getting a little bit cold and you're out with your friends at the fire pit and you just want to drink something nice and maybe have a nice cigar. This is something delicious. And, you know, and again at 46% and we we didn't hit this too hard that night, um, but it, it, it was probably... Right at the neck, I will I recall say. though, yeah, exactly. You finished it off perfect. I was going to say, I will recall... This time I like it way better than the first time because the first time, with it being the neck pour maybe, I got a lot of pepper and a lot of the alcohol just over everything. But now- Well, and again, it's 24 whiskey in the bottle. Yeah, not now though, I, I think this is this is great. Even mm -hmm. this, this little aeration, this is great. I, I could wish it around in my mouth, not swallow it, enjoy the flavor, and then swallow and have it go down smooth, so. For sure. And and again, this is natural color, folks. This is just all barrel and all sherry, and it's 46%. Um, it drinks a little hotter than 46, to me anyway. It drinks more like that 48 to 51 but, range, but, but it's not, not it's not aggressive. Yeah, yeah, it's exactly. not like, not hey, I'm here to party. It's like, hey, sit with me a little while. You yeah. know what I mean? Sit it's with me. This is... With me. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is you know hey uh, a couple chapters in video games. This is a couple chapters in your favorite book. To quote Mark from the Scotch for Dummies, that's right. I watch you guys. Um, you know what I mean. This is this is one of those whiskeys where it's gonna take a while. You don't you don't go through this like this isn't something that when you pour it you just shoot it. Uh, in fact, I might slap you in the back of the head. And I know I know whiskey is the best whiskey is the whiskey you like and the way you like to drink it, as according to Daniel and Rex and the Whiskey Tribe but I might take a little offense to this one. <laughs> but uh, that's not me being a snob. That's just me being like, no, don't do that. Uh, enjoy this one because it has so much to give. Um, I could spend two hours with an ounce on this. I could pour this and go yeah. get lunch and come back. Yeah. You know what I mean? This is something that just got a lot to give. Um, and it, it, it for 
for lack of a better term, it's it's beyond my skillty. It's beyond my palate. But I just know that I love it. I know that I get those raisins. I almost even get a little bit of fudge out of it. It's kind of crazy. Like the consistency, the mouthfeel. Um, I haven't put any water on it yet, but I'm going to in a minute. Are you getting anything else off this bottle? Again, we're going to spend a little bit of time on this bottle because it deserves it. It, it, it demands I did, I, it. I'm not going to lie, bro. I'm not going to lie. Like the first time I had it, I was like, you know what? I love you, Matt. You're my brother. But... <laughs> I don't but this know. is garbage. I, and I'm yeah, like, you're well, wrong. Not, not garbage. Not garbage <laughs> at all. I was going to say, it's definitely good, but I don't know how you hold it to such a high standard. But, folks, right now, I'm enjoying this so much. This, I can tell you right now, if I was a rich CEO on Wall Street and have a nice, big, top floor office and had a beautiful crystal decanter in my office, I would love to have this be the scotch I have in my decanter in my office. This is definitely that any time of day, I could just drink this and it, it'd go well with anything because it doesn't punch you in the face with anything in particular. And the way it comes down, like my, my buddy Matt over here, he's a big sherry head and I've, I've been uh, on and off, on and off. I'm not sure about sherry, but this right here, folks, is the best sherry flavored whiskey I have honestly ever had. I love the way it goes down. I, I, I love the way it tastes. I, I love the color. I mean, it's beautiful. So I, this gives me a completely different experience than the first time we had it. So once again, folks, if you don't like something the first time, hey, I mean, dump some out if you didn't like it and see if it tastes better after it airs out a little bit, just so that way- You dump any out. of this out, I will find you. I'll be like Jay and Silent Bob. No, that's not really the truth, but- I, I see where he's going with this. Get get rid of some of it in terms of drinking it. If you got an infinity bottle, maybe sacrifice exactly. a little That's bit Exactly. That's what I was going to say. Put it in the bottle on the side and put it for later so when you realize... Send it to uh, me. I got a P.O. <laughs> box and everything. I'll take it. Um, so have you, have you tried it with the water yet? No, I just it's put the water so in. It's so funny, man. So I put, a, I put a hefty amount of water on again. Second bottle. I, I know it can take it. Um, it kind of laughs it off. <laughs> it's yeah. like, yeah, I see your water. Get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of kicks it out of the glass. Yeah. Where you know were we I mean? at? Yeah. yeah. It's like, I'm sorry, you interrupted my conversation. Let the big boys talk. <laughs> um, but it's it's so good, man. It's 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 orange peel. It's baked spices. It's, I think the smell comes out sweet. The taste is yeah, the same, but the it's, smell comes out It comes sweeter. off a little sweeter. Yeah. Kind of neuters that ABV just a little bit. Yeah. And again, it spent 24 years in yeah. a barrel. Yeah. That's a long time. I mean, I've got another whiskey in this cabinet that we're going to review at some point that's 28 years old, and we both love it. Um, very mellow though. Like this is still coming out like Tyson. Whereas that, you know, other whiskey is going to be coming out, you know, eh, I don't even know in, in today's boxers. I'm, I'm awful. But um, my point is, is that this still packs a punch for sitting in the barrel for 24 years. And I've had, obviously we reviewed the 12. I've had their eight year. I've had their 12. I've had their 15. It's the new 15, not the old 15, because the 15 folks had the same problem as the 18. And I say problem as in it was older whiskey. Um, I've had the 18, obviously. I've had their 21. I have yet to get some of their single cast bottlings or their Grandier series. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a really fancy one that comes in the box. It's got a wax seal. It's really cool. Um, but Everything Glendronic puts out, I am loving. And the Glendronic 15 Revival, the new one, uh, is fantastic. So as sad as I am to see the older whiskey go away, because really at the end of the day, we're in 2020 and those stocks are pretty much used up from the mothball time period. Because of that 15 and it being so good in the new release, I'm excited to see what the new batches of 18 are. Uh, because again, with that reputation, with the fact that the 12 is so good, like I said, I gave the 12 my, you know, I'm on a desert, deserted island whiskey. Um, I'm excited to see what the 18 is. I'm a little cautious at the same time because you never know what's going to happen. But based on the 15, I'm excited to see what happens. Uh, I know I'm kind of rambling here, but are you getting mm -hmm. anything else off of this? No, nah, and I'm gonna go ahead and rate it. Like, to be honest, I'm not gonna lie, the first time I had it, if we did a video then and we rated it, I would give it a straight two. Straight two, yeah, I'd get it, but you know, it's kind of mixed with a lot of things. Right now, folks, I can wholeheartedly, 100% say, I'm giving this a four. Okay. I'm giving this a four. This, this is good stuff, like I said, it, it's something where if I was a rich CEO and I wanted to have something in my crystal decanter in my office, I would love to have that in there for sure. 
For sure. Um, oh, man. I know we don't do halves. <sighs> it's killing me, folks. It's killing me. But... Uh, if you want to start doing halves. No, no, I'm not going to do a half. Um, I, you know what? I'm going to own it. I'm going to give it a five. I'm going I'm to give it a five. It's my first five, folks. Um, five finger discount. Not on this whiskey. <laughs> um, look, it's it's a little salty on price. I get it. 135 to 150 bucks. You can get it online overseas for about 95 to 110, but you're going to pay that shipping and those tariffs are terrible. Which, by the way, spiritsunited.org. If you haven't checked it out, Go look it up. They're actually a group of people trying to get these tariffs eliminated. Check them out, spiritsunited.org. Um, if you can, support them that way. If you believe in it, if you don't, if, if you want to keep the feds off your booze, go to spiritsunited.org. I know I have. Um, but yeah, for me, this is a five. This I think, is just... I, I think the term you're looking for is off the rail because after four, I mean, four is kind of our <laughs> limit on rating, but literally after four, it's off the rail because... It's, it's a little off the rails, folks. But like I said, for me, it's got special memories. I Like I said, I drank it with my would-be wife at the time, who is now my wife, um, and just have fond memories of that. Um, but also just, it's good whiskey, folks. And again... We're going to come back to this. I'm going to save a little bit of this because it's it, more than half left, but I'm going to save this for when the new 18s start hitting oh, the market. We're going to do a side-by-side yeah. side because I want to see, does the new 18 hold up to this? I don't want to call it new make because obviously it's been sitting in a barrel for 24 yeah. years, but I want to see the side-by-side -side comparisons. I yeah. want to be able to see that. I'm fortunate enough to have this bottle. Yeah. I'm hoping to get one or two more. Um, that way I can have it in the cabinet. But my point is... This whiskey is delicious. It's my five year or my five point whiskey. It's gonna be fantastic. And uh, yeah, guys, it's it's just delicious. If you can get a chance to get a sample of it, do it. Uh, you can check the barcode in the tube. If it says 2019, grab it. I promise you, if you like sherry whiskey, you're not gonna be disappointed. So again, it's a five from me, it's a four from Caesar. Do us a favor, hit that like button, comment in the comment sections down below. Have you had it? Have you had a new version of the 2020 version? Let us know what it's like. Uh, send us a sample. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but anyway, hit that like button, hit the bell for notifications so you know when we drop a new video. We're dropping videos pretty much every Wednesday if you haven't noticed. Uh, we're trying to stick to that kind of 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. time slot. Um, and guys, if you haven't already, hit us up on Instagram, SoCalDramTram. Got anything else to add today, Caesar? No, what about you, man? All aboard! <laughs> catch you next time. Or maybe I'm just gonna catch you right now. Ooh! That's right, folks. This is video number 11. Can you believe it? We broke Take 10 us videos. To <laughs> we broke 10 videos. That's right. So, in Thanks this. For a, thanks for sticking around. Absolutely. We B. cannot thank you guys enough for sticking around with us. Uh, we, for lack of a better word, we don't know nothing about nothing. Um, but we like to have fun. We like to drink whiskey with you guys. We want to make sure that if we ever meet you guys, we can have a whiskey with you. But more importantly, we were talking a little bit today about, you know, just the fact that everybody's still kind of hanging around with us. Everybody's still commenting. Everybody's still liking. Everybody's hitting us up on Instagram. All that good stuff. We want to share a little bit of whiskey with you guys. Uh, we got some fun whiskey coming down the barrel, and we want to make sure that you get a chance to sample some of that whiskey. Maybe it's a whiskey you haven't had. And in our next video, we're actually going to be doing a little bit of a giveaway. That's right. We're going to be giving away a two-ounce sample of something really special. Really special. So if you stuck around through this video, make sure you leave some comments in the comment section and just us a comment. Did you like this Glendronic review? Have you liked any of our reviews? But at the very end of your comment, I want to see you guys type giveaway. Okay? Just type giveaway. That's going to make you eligible for the giveaway. And we're going to go ahead and make sure that we get in touch with you. Also, just a quick little note. If anybody's international, I'm sorry. We're not quite there yet for the shipping charges. This is only going to be for United States only. Don't worry. We're going to get there. We're going to make it happen at some point. Maybe video 25. We'll see. But as of right now, it's just going to be here at home. So United States watchers, make sure you hit giveaway in the comment section. And we're going to be sending you something special. Thanks a lot for tuning in.